A healthy heart, healthy lungs, arteries and veins are vital to our overall good health. Despite being largely preventable, cardiovascular disease affects one in six people and accounts for nearly 30% of deaths in Australia. In fact, it kills one Australian every 12 minutes. At the University of Adelaide, we conduct interdisciplinary research to understand how and why coronary heart disease, peripheral arterial disease and vascular and heart rhythm disorders occur and how they can be prevented. We are tackling the cause of these problems from a genetic or DNA level, improving early diagnostic tools, finding better treatment options and developing community messaging to try and minimise the incidents and behaviours that can lead to cardiac problems. With a focus on personalised patient care and treatment plans, our research is also seeking to help individuals better understand their own risks and prognosis. Coronary artery disease, including heart attack, remains Australia's single leading cause of death. Ultimately, my vision is about developing uh, new ways of preventing and treating heart disease so that the heart attack patients that I see have got a better chance of recovery and hopefully so that they don't have further heart attacks or other sorts of vascular disease in the future. Among the different things that we're working on, the most exciting discovery we've made is to find the existence of a new type of stem cell that's never before been properly discovered. The discovery of such a stem cell has massive implications for regenerative treatment, the ability to treat diseases in different tissues. Type 2 diabetes affects 1.5 million Australians and the lifetime risk of developing heart disease is 1 in 3. My work involves investigating drugs of interest in um, type 2 diabetic heart in an isolated heart setting. Ideally, I would like to find a way to prevent heart failure in patients with type 2 diabetes. Currently, there are treatment options available, but these treatments are fairly limited. So I hope that with my research, I can find a way that contribute to the wealth of knowledge out there. Atrial fibrillation is a common cause of stroke. Our group has been leading the world in establishing lifestyle treatments to prevent and cure atrial fibrillation. What we've shown is that working one-on-one -on -one with an individual on each of their risk factors, be that smoking, diabetes, weight, physical inactivity, sleep apnea, we've been able to treat them effectively and see almost 40% of people stop all of their medications and not have any arrhythmia. Weight loss and calorie restriction uh, reduce blood pressure and they reduce cholesterol levels and that reduces your risk for heart disease. My research is interested in understanding how intermittent fasting or calorie restriction can reduce cardiovascular risk. At the moment we've enrolled 110 patients into our direct trial which is comparing intermittent fasting with calorie restriction. Both groups are doing really well, hitting their 5 to 10% weight loss targets within the six month period, which is the goal that we're after. I joined the program 12 months ago, and in that 12 months on a calorie restricted diet, I've lost 24 kilos, which I'm very, very pleased with. Uh, it's been a remarkable result. The benefit is, is for everybody's health, really, because being overweight isn't healthy for most people, um, and it can only be good for the community. It can only be good for the community. To, to have weight loss in those that need it. Cardiovascular disease and diabetes are the leading cause of death in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in this country and the primary contributor to the life expectancy gap that we see between Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians and the remainder of society. Our research is looking into how to better understand what drives the development of heart disease and diabetes in Aboriginal people in South Australia and more broadly how we need to build better healthcare systems to respond to those needs and how we intervene at the population level and the individual level to improve health outcomes. Using the combined skills of physicians, bioengineers, research scientists and computational modellers, our research aims to translate biomedical discoveries into the hospital environment, providing the opportunity to make real and meaningful impact on people's lives. Through our research, we hope to find cures or preventative measures to reduce the number of people suffering from cardiometabolic disease and to increase the life expectancy and the quality of life of those impacted by these diseases. 